Ken approaches with a full hop near, which catches my jump in. Did a short hop near in place to cover the Ken jumping in, but they rolled in to close in the gap. Very bad dash attack. Need to play around the mid range since close range is where Ken shines. Ken can't hit Gandalf's ledge hang, so I did a drop down double jump near to tell the Ken to respect my space. Very bad first stop. However, I picked up that the Ken loves to do full hop fast four aerials and roll in to close in the gap, which both of these options lose to retreating aerials. Very nice double jump save from the Ken. This allowed him to jump over all of my edge guard attempts. This is the moment where my adaptation kicks in. I baited in the Ken and then did a retreating fair. Got the parry and went for a double jump side B read and it paid off. Since last time Ken had to recover, he did side B back to stay. Ken hits my shield and I go for a rolling read and got it. No rolling, so I reacted and got him with an air choke. Risky to go for since I'm near death percent. Expected a side B to the ledge, so I try to cover it with dash attack. The Ken ended up going high. I was ready to tech the bear after doing two nares at the lead. Read the Ken going high, so I try to cover it with forward smash, but the Ken avoided it. I'm now understanding where the Ken wants to be. Did a roll away to get out of Ken's pressure at close range, and then did a panic nair which landed luckily. <laughs> After doing so many nares at the ledge, I surprised the Ken with an air choke from the ledge because every time he dashed in towards the ledge, he dashed away. After landing the down smash 2 on shield, I went for a roll in read. Once again did a subtle retreat of fair to cover roll in or full hop aerial approach. Everyone has a bad stock or even a bad game, but it's up to the players to adapt and improve from their mistakes. My mistakes on the first stock was letting the Ken overwhelm me by closing in the gap with full hop approaches and simply rolling in to mash tilts on my shield. I also didn't play the mid range correctly and gave away my stock for free. Even though my second stock wasn't perfect, you can tell that my game plan mid match changed and that was enough for me to get the win.